these kind of all disease are associated with what with transitional period are the pre parturient so number one risk factor is what parturition believe me number one risk factor is what for the displacement of the abomasum the number one factor is what parturition because this disease may occur two week ago parturition or to after the parturition two week or maybe one in the one we uh, one week or one month you know after parturition so this is very you know in the under in the few numbers cases may occur in other ages but the most of cases of displacement of abomasum occur one or two week of before parturition or one two or one one two week to one month after this is important you are getting my point so what really happening you know why this is why this parturition is the risk factor this is you need to understand that some things we know, know that already parturition is the risk factor sometime breed or species also risk factor you know i have already tell that the holstein freezer high producing uh, cows have more chance of ld and uh, and other thing is that what maybe age is also a factor most of the cases middle age middle age cow are the what are the old age cow dairy cow have more chance of having lda you are getting my point rda displacement of abomasum so what really happening the other important thing is the nutrition that's much important what really happening in the nutrition you may write low fiber is a one of the tricking point for the displacement of the abomasum low fiber and high concentration high concentrate high concentrate grains you mean if your feed have low fiber during transitional period during and have high concentrate that is a, this is also a risk factor for what displacement of abomasum you know these risk factor and any stage associated with what accumulation of gases hypo but you know this is a pathogenesis how this happen there will be hypo mortality and there will be the accumulation of gases but these are the risk factor they will cause what hypo mortality and accumulation of gases how this happening let me tell you what if you are picking on the nutrition or picking you the parturition the thing you need to understand before the parturition the two two week there is maybe the change of feed maybe you do change of feed and after parturition there is also a ch many changes occur cow start giving milk cow start giving milk and you may also change bring some changes in nutritional uh, routine so at that stage you need a high class of management to avoid lda ya da or da you are getting my point what this is why this is important listen because if there is the low fiber and high concentrates in the feed there will be you know more production of gases there will be the more if there is a more production of gases there is a more chance the gas will be trapped in abomasum gases will be trapped in abomasum you know what how what kind of gases are produced in rumen i believe the highest production is carbon dioxide two types of gases are important one is ca co carbon dioxide and methane me these two gases are actually pro, you know you know the normal cycle what really happen normally if the abomasum is under the phase of contraction mostly he have a rumen rift 
a large particle here a liquid portion is down and on the top there is a gases there is the gases this is gases are known as gas cap known as there is a procedure which is known as erection with the help of this this gases actually leave new rumen you know this is normal gases are produced in rumen this is the normal and gases leave rumen this is also normal and there is also interesting story some amount of gases actually via rumen go to the reticulomesome into the abomasum into the abomasum and abomasum push back okay these with the contraction of the muscle of the smooth muscle with the contraction of the smooth muscle this is the motility you know what is the motility motility is of the two kind one is the peristalsis in which the bolus move and other is what segmentation in which is a mixing of occur so you know this concept git motility is that in which the fold move in git system this is actually the co combined action of nerve tissue and muscular tissue in the wall of git so they combinedly combinedly do this in normally this is happening there is a you know what big role of vagus nerve which nerve vagus nerve you know this so this vagus nerve is actually control motility of the rumen motility of the abomasum of the compound stomach in other sense so this is normal gases are produces and gases leave via esophagus in the ruminants that is what that is the normal story this is happening but if due to change in food okay they due to the hypocalcemia the problem can happen here number 1 problem is that if a rumen if animal is eating less food if animal is eating number one point is that having in the uh, two months or one week before parturition not eating more food that means this rumen will be remain empty this rumen will be remain empty if the rumen is empty in a sense so the activity the motility of the rumen will be slow okay if the motility of hypomotility mean less motility you know so if the motility of the rumen is slow the motility of abomasum is act act automatically slow so if the motility of act uh, abomasum is slow there will be the accumulation of gases if there is accumulation of gases is a chance the displacement of the and other important thing is that in some diseases like hypocalcemia if there is a the blood calcium level decrease if the you know for the contraction of muscles for the contraction of muscles we need calcium we need calcium if the blood glucose level uh, no sorry blood calcium level decrease there is a chance of what a toning a a toning of abomasal smooth muscles you know what is a mean not toning mean tune the muscle lost normal physiological tune what does it mean they will not contract properly they will not so if the smooth muscle of abomasum will not contract properly we have what hypo if we have hypomotility there is a chance of what accumulation of gases. if there is the accumulation of gases we have what da displacement of so think you need to understand there is so many factors they are involved they are risk factors age of animal time of parturition breed of animal what kind of feed you are giving in the transitional periods period especially before the parturition and after the parturition they all are what risk factors but what happening happening is that there if there is the loss of hypomotility if there is the atonia of abomasal smooth muscle there will be the accumulation of the gases Accumulation of gases may be occur due to any other reason. If there is a problem in rumen and a problem occurring due to the what kind of feed you are introducing into the stomach of animal, but this will followed with what hypermotility or accumulation of gases will both lead to the displacement of abomasum. If this is happening, the smooth muscles of the abomasum is not working properly. There is a accumulation of gases in what in abomasum. this will lead be into what displacement of the this is important that's clear
Uh, other problem is that this is very much important if you are on dairy farm, commercial dairy farm. This is important. What really? If the animal have a uh, DA displacement of a mesom, it will. There is a sudden reduce. You know, there is you know people called symptom. The first symptom is that there may be a great reduce in the production. For example, animal giving is a 25 kg milk. Let's suppose in one time, it may be go up to on five. So it's a great uh, decrease in the production. This is two different things. One is that it is a great sign for what? To it is a sign for the, the displacement of. But but it is also give a because the dairy farms actually depend on the milk of cows. If the cow is not giving proper milk, there will be the huge loss, economical loss to the farm. You are getting my point. So if uh, if there is a parturition. Or just before the parturition, if animal shows sign like this, maybe weaken. Okay, the flank region, you know, of the animals may become more weak and go inside. And also, you are having a loss in production. The eyes of animal is sunken. Okay, I animals feel little lethargic. You feel little weak, you know, in other sense. So these are the symptoms of what displacement of the but may other uh, disease which are occurring in those people may also have similar symptom. But one thing can help you. If there is not other disease like metroitis, not infectious disease, the temperature of cow will be normal. The respiration rate and pulse rate of cow will be normal. So the best way to diagnose, you know, there is many ways. How you diagnose a cow have LD or not? The, the easiest way is what? You know, there is a two term auscultation and percussion. You know this? Hello? For all, you do all, auscultation and percussion is what? On live animal. You put your hand on the left side. Okay? On the left side. It's maybe as if this is a right side. You know, here is a structure which is known as. Spara lumbar fossa, which is known as pick a from top here, pick a line, go up to here on the Z file process. This area between this rival uh, ribs, sorry, we have what intracostal space. Use the stethoscope and hit this area with your fingers or with your thumb. What will be happen? There will be the production of sound. You need to hear that sound very clearly. If doing auscultation and percussion with the help of cytoscope and with the help of your hand or any small hammer, if you are hearing sound which is called as ping sound, which is called as ping sound or pinging. So this the this is not common. What is the ping sound? Ping sound is you know you know the table tennis ball. If you pick the ball in your hand and throw on the table, the sound will be produced is known as ping sound. This ping sound have high pitch and another metallic sound. Another example, take a spoon and hit that spoon on the crystal glass. Hit that spoon on the, that sound the produce is known as what? Ping sound. So with the help of auscultation and percussion using stethoscopes on that area, on, on where area? Between the intercostal space, between the intercostal space, both on left and right side. If the abomasum displaced, if the abomasum will definitely come on up here, abomasum definitely come, he will leave normal place and come on the up here. So you can, when you hit that, if there is the abomasum and gas inside that abomasum, gas. There will be the ping sound. There will be the. This is a tool to diagnose what? Displacement of abomasum. You are getting my point?